what's happening. So I created this Word document to hopefully help out or make it a little bit more clear for people trying to get into um, chia mining or chia farming. Um, so I created this whole document here and I just want to kind of go through some of the basics. So this is going to be more of like a hardware selection guide to kind of understand a little bit better how to put, put a, a computer together or a server together to start uh, plotting or uh, chia farming. Okay, so the main thing, so if you're going to be building a computer, you're going to need an OS drive, uh, which I call the farm operations. And this can be either a, uh, you know, this would be your primary hard drive. This could be an SSD drive. It could be a SATA drive. doesn't make a difference. The speed is not critically important here, but, I mean, you should pretty much be running an SSD drive at this point. There's no reason to run the older hard drives. Um, SSD drives are cheap, so might as well get one of those. But So this is actually where your OS is going be, to be. Like on a Windows drive, it would be like a C or C drive. Um, it could be also Linux or Mac OS. Um, so this is actually a dedicated drive only for your OS and the applications. So the next thing is is the Chia application. So this is the application you download from uh, Chia, and this houses like the uh, you know the plotting software, the uh, the private key, and everything associated with uh, plotting. So all right. So like I said, it could be an SSD, it could be SAS drive, SSD, whatever. Um, like I said, the SSD twice, but. All right, so this is the primary dedicated drive, which kind of is like your brain or your operations of your farm. So everything coming and going from your farm operations comes through this one C drive, where your Chi application is right here. Okay, so the next thing is, which was kind of confusing at first, it was kind of hard to figure out. You know, I was reading all those documents and trying to figure out, like, what the hell they're talking about. But the plotting drive, or the you, you, you want a dedicated drive for plotting. Um, so think of plotting as like a tractor, like you're mowing the fields, you're creating the product, you know, and you want a device that can actually handle what you're trying to do. So, you know, you don't want a, a, a big plow with a small tractor. So it needs to be equivalent to what you're trying to do or, or the amount of plotting that you're trying to create. So you're not going to buy a home user tractor to farm the thousand acres. So you need to basically have a, a drive that is actually suitable for the amount of plotting that you want to do. Uh, farming, plotting, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this actually needs to be a dedicated drive. So typically what they call it, they call it like a temporary storage or where you're going to be actually creating the plots. And uh, I mean, sometimes they, they use the term swap in Linux, but this is actually a dedicated hard, hard drive that you actually want for just basically creating these plots. Uh, faster the better. Um, obviously, if you could do like M2, you know, PCI 4.0, um, that would be actually a lot better and faster. Um, but the problem with SSD drives is they actually wear out. There's only a limited amount of writes that you can do to an SSD drive before they fail. So if time is not of the essence, I'd probably maybe go with a SAS drive. So a SAS drive is actually similar to a SATA drive. But it stands for Serial Attached SCSI. And that's actually what a lot of the servers used in the past. Uh, I know they're actually moving over to SSDs now, but a SAS drive is actually a magnetic platter drive, like the old style hard drive. Um, but those actually will last a lot longer if you're actually, if you're not trying to, if you have time to spare while you're creating these plots, I'd probably go with SAS because it will last a lot longer than SSD drive. And uh, not, all, not all SSD drives will work here. Um, you know, if you buy like one of those little home user SSD drives, they're going to wear out fast and they're going to, they're going to fail. So you want a com commercial grade SSD if you're going to be going the SSD route. All right. So, and the last part is the plot storage. So this is actually where the plots are uh, created, or this is actually where they're stored, not created, but this is where they're stored, long-term stored. So once you've actually created the plots, then you actually have to store them. And... This is actually where you have the large capacity hard drives, like 18 gig, 6 gig. Uh, performance is not a big big deal here because it really is just there for storage. Uh, you're going to be having these huge files, typically about 100 gigabytes per file. And, you know, like I said, performance is not an issue. So uh, it's just, you know, like here in the picture, I have grain of storage. But, you know, like I said, it doesn't have to be, you know, and it also doesn't have to even be stored on the local machine. 
So you could actually have some hard drives in the computer server, you know, and have it locally connected. But also, as long as the farm operations can communicate with the plot storage, uh, it will actually work. So this could be like a like a map drive on a different server or a different computer. This also could be like an external a, a uh, eSATA like drive array. It could be a storage area network, you know, like Fiber Channel or like iSCSI. Um, it could just be any sort of just a bunch of disks, like drop or like array. Um, it could be like US, external USB drives. Um, as long as actually this farm operation can communicate with it, then it'll actually it'll work. So, um, so hopefully this clears up some of the confusion. Um, like I said, it's kind of hard to kind of figure out when you read the documents, but like I said, here you have your farm operations. This is the brain of the operation. This is this is your tractor. This is this is what's actually this is the dedicated drive that has to be super fast to create the plots. And this is the this is the final storage. So, all right. Hopefully, this document can help somebody. All right. Cool. <laughs>